there is this constant battle in my head between wanting to do all of the things and also wanting to do nothing, just live a really quiet, simple life. And I've struggled with this for so long. I'm really ambitious, really driven, but I also want to live a slower paced life. And I think I have finally cracked it. I think I have finally found the answer and I'm going to be testing it and experimenting with it this month. Let's go. Hi guys, it's Laura and it is January 1st. 2021 it is rainy and miserable here in Cincinnati and I am sitting down to do something that I normally do at the end of every year so it's actually a bit late this year but 2020 what can I say so before I officially take on this challenge, the first thing I want to do is read through all of my journal entries from the past year. So from 2020, I'm gonna go through all of those. I've got a notebook here as well. I'm gonna be taking notes on any kind of highlights, standouts, anything I noticed, any patterns or habits. I really want to look at where I feel my time was best spent and where it was wasted and just kind of general things like that. Read through and note down anything that pops into my head. Hopefully that is going to give me a really clear idea of the things that I should be focusing more on in 2021. But the thing that I have been, uh, you know, thinking about, the thing that I'm going to challenge myself to do to kind of appease these both sides of my nature, like wanting to do all of the things and wanting to do none of the things, I think I'm going to set more goals that you know, push me towards the slower paced life. Let me give you an example. One of my goals this year and actually for the past few years has been to read 100 books in the year. And that is a goal. That's something that I strive towards. That's something that helps me to like do all the things, but it encourages me to actually make time to sit down and lead that slower paced life. So I've broken my book reading goal of 100 books for the year down into months. And for January, I would like to read eight books. And I've chosen these eight. Now they are subject to change. But for now, these are the ones that I think I'm going to be reading. So hopefully these are going to help me to achieve my goal. Another goal that I have for the month of January is to learn to play the harp. I mean, you know, start learning at least. My husband bought me a harp for Christmas and I'm very excited about it. It has been like a bucket list item of mine for years, probably 15 years now, to learn to play the harp. So that was a really wonderful gift. So that's another goal where, you know, it will be something to focus my mind and make me feel like I'm achieving something, but also lending itself to that slower, quiet, well, maybe not quieter. It is a musical instrument after all, but just that slower, calmer life. First, though, I'm going to dive into these journal entries and see what I can learn from 2020 me. Okay, I took a break from that. It's actually taking much longer than I thought it would, but the rain stopped. It was supposed to rain all day long. And then as soon as I noticed it had stopped, put on some walking shoes and came out to enjoy a bit of fresh air, which I like to do on the first day of the new year. Stopped at the little free library and got some books that I think Scout will enjoy. And one thing I noticed from reading through what I've read through so far of my journal entries from 2020, and this is something that I kind of always knew, but when you just read entry after entry or you're basically saying the same thing, it really brings it home. But lack of sleep or tiredness or just lack of quality sleep really has a huge, huge impact, not only on my energy levels, obviously, but also on my mood. Any day that I don't sleep very well, I'm just in a very low mood. That also leads to, you know, just being, feeling blah in general, being very unmotivated, not wanting to do anything. Um, and also then the low energy moods or the low energy levels mean that I turn to unhealthy foods. Um, so lack of sleep, like for last year or lack of quality sleep at least, has had a massive 
negative impact on my life and I didn't realize how much of a negative impact it had. So that's been one thing that's really stood out to me and I think one thing I talk about a lot is focusing on kind of like foundational habits, getting one habit um, that will just make everything else easier. And I think focusing on sleep this year, it was something that I wasn't really focused on. I never really thought I slept badly, um, but seeing, like I said, entry after entry, talking about how tired I was, um, yeah, I think sleep is going to be something that I didn't intend on focusing on this year because I didn't think it was a big problem, but clearly it is, and it's going to have a massive impact on so many other areas of my life. So yeah, that's been one takeaway, one big takeaway so far. Another big thing I noticed is that I need a lot of encouragement and support and like good things because as soon as one bad thing happens, I it just like completely derails me. I can't handle it at all. <laughs> so that's been really frustrating for me to see that you know if one video performs poorly or you know somebody leaves a bad comment or something it really affects my mood for the rest of the day and that shouldn't be the case um, and sometimes it just takes one good thing like a video is performing well and all of a sudden life is great <laughs> you know that I shouldn't be as subject to little things like that so I think I'm trying to think of how I can kind of combat that this year and I think a big thing is going to be maybe writing a list of all the good things in my life just being more intentional with a gratitude practice <laughs> there's kids riding by on their bikes I love seeing kids out just you know playing or doing all the stuff that I used to do as a kid rather than being stuck indoors staring at a screen which is what my daughter is currently doing <laughs> but yeah, maybe having a list of achievements, small wins. I do tend to do that, but I don't tend to look at them all that often. I think this year I'm going to need to do that a lot more. Oh, okay, I've been walking around for a while now and I have to say I'm struggling. I'm already struggling with this challenge. You know, the walk was supposed to be one of those nice slow down things, but my brain is just racing with thoughts of things that I could be doing, other things that I could be doing. You know, it's getting late, and not late in the day, but it's mid-afternoon now. I'm thinking about all the things I haven't done yet. I'm thinking, you know, I decided to come out just for a nice stroll, get some fresh air, but my brain is like, oh, go for the 10,000 steps. Um, yeah, you know, like it's, it's just this constant more, more, more thing with me. Ugh, it's exhausting. So I'm gonna have to try and find some way to combat that. I did find while I was walking, like all throughout last year, that if I don't give my brain something to focus on while I'm out walking, I will just start to think random, uh, not so happy thoughts. You know, I'll think of one bad thing that happened and that will lead to another bad thing that happened. And before I know it, I'm like really angry about something or really, really upset about something or I'm just stewing on something. So I find that it's best for me if when I come out for a walk, I have something very specific to kind of mull over, something positive, um, because otherwise my brain just runs away with me. But yeah, I'm gonna have to try and find some way to, <laughs> kids on bikes again, <laughs> um, some way to kind of get over that constant need to be achieving something or hitting some milestone. It's January 1st and I, uh, I feel the pressure to like make it the perfect day, you know, when it's not. <laughs> That's it. I'm struggling already, day one, and it's not like we're only a few hours into the day, really. It's about 3 p.m. and I'm already, <laughs> I'm already finding it tough. <sighs> I'm ridiculous. I am ridiculous. Okay, I am back. It is now actually dark outside, but I came to two realizations while I was walking home. The first was, you know, reading through my 2020 journal entries. I knew that was going to take me hours and hours, maybe even the whole rest of the day. I also had that idea where, you know, I wanted to be out walking. I had all of these things that I wanted to do today to make it the perfect day. Um, so I had a realization there and also one in relation to this idea of, you know, having to hit a certain number or a certain, uh, kind of milestone or something, you know, 
working on a task like going on a walk and wanting it to be perfect like wanting to hit 10,000 steps so in relation then to uh, you know this having these big things that are going to take over my whole day and then just feeling very demoralized I realized on the way home because my plan was to get back into rereading my journal entries and I knew it was just going to take a really long time and I wasn't going to be happy about it it was going to take over my whole day so I decided I was going to get some quick wins you know keep my motivation levels up keep me feeling like I have achieved several things you know even if I don't complete my journal my 2020 journal entries complete rereading those I can still make progress on that while also achieving other things. Um, so I'm going to do some kind of small wins, get some small wins under my belt. And I already started by baking scones with Scout. That was something that was on my list for today. And it was kind of a quick-ish win. <laughs> Yeah, mixing in those quick wins, that's something that I'm going to be very conscious of now as I go throughout the rest of the year. It also feeds into that fact that I was telling you about, which is, you know, I kind of constantly need some form of inspiration or motivation or encouragement, you know, something that makes me feel like this is all worthwhile. Um, so I think that I'm going to be much more conscious now of mixing in the quick wins. And then on the other side, we have, you know, wanting to make everything perfect, wanting to hit some kind of milestone or number or statistic, you know, being out on the walk and wanting to hit 10,000 steps. And instead, I switched my goal. Instead of wanting to hit this random arbitrary number or something I really wanted to focus on the kind of slow paced more enjoyable aspect so I set myself a goal that was more fun and what I did was I decided that I was going to take a photograph of something you know some scene or moment that I really liked and that really made me happy um, not for social media or anything like that just to snap a picture of something lovely and that is what I did as I was walking home I spotted a lovely little house that was still decorated for Christmas and I just thought it was really nice and I stopped to take a picture of it and it just made me really happy and then further along even though I kind of only had planned to take one picture I spotted a cool little mailbox and um, that was all surrounded by greenery and I just thought that was lovely as well and I stopped to take a picture of that and that was kind of like the light bulb moment for me realizing that my goals could be more fun orientated rather than you know numbers focused because numbers you know what do you get out of that there is no sense of satisfaction really out of that I mean sometimes there is but you know what what was really the point of hitting 10,000 steps whereas going out and actually enjoying the walk and taking time to stop and notice things that was really the whole point of the walk. So when I switched my goals to focus on that, that's when everything changed for me. I realized as well that just because I didn't hit the 10,000 steps doesn't mean that I won't. You know, the day is still reasonably young. I mean, it is 6 p.m. now. So I could still get in. How many steps have I done? 9,000. So it is still feasible that I could get another 1,000 steps in before bedtime. Um, but yeah, getting those quick wins, um, keeping myself motivated, keeping my spirits high and focusing my goals on more creative, fun outcomes. 
So yeah, big revelations <laughs> today as I was reflecting on things and I think that's going to be really helpful for me as I go throughout the year. For the evening then, I'm probably going to spend a little bit more time reading some more journal entries um, and I also want to tune my harp. And yeah, that will be another quick win for me. That is what I learned today. Um, I think I will eventually manage to overcome this struggle between perfectionism and minimalism, I guess, in terms of how I live my life, focusing more on goals that, you know, slow me down, essentially. So I'm still achieving things, but the things I'm achieving are getting me closer to that slower life and not focusing so much on numbers and statistics and random arbitrary goals, but focusing more on goals that add meaning and satisfaction to my life. Not a bad way to start the year. I think you will agree. I'm really happy with the progress I have made so far. So yeah, I'm gonna go get some more quick wins under my belt for the night and then turn in. But yeah, I think January 1st, success. <laughs> <laughs>